So, news on Dokkan Battle Global are finally here, so we're gonna go through all the updates and all the brand new hits Dokkan Festival and what's to come, so stay tuned for all of that. So let's get started though. <laughs> What's up beast people, Tito's here and welcome to a brand new Dokkan Battle news video here today. So today, Global just got a new update, update 4.0.1 and we're gonna talk about what this update is about and what is to come on Global because a lot of stuff has been dropping recently so kind of want to go slowly through everything like I only cover global here like I try to sometimes cover JP as well but I don't want to go and like uh, give hopes and cover stuff that we still don't know when it's to come for global so kind of just want to go ahead and talk about what is exactly confirmed for global right now so today we got a new update 4.0.1 as you guys can see on the screen right here and we got some new functions which I mean one of them is pretty cool and the other one is kind of meh and the meh one is actually this right here so if you guys look at the start screen of Dokkan you can see Giru Giru is the, the little robot here from Dragon Ball GT he's actually on the screen and apparently recommends characters from uh, ongoing events like you guys can see here if you click on it uh, characters related to ongoing events will be displayed so th in this case he's of course showcasing the Goku the one for the beginners that everyone at this point should have if you're like an old G player if you just started playing then of course you should definitely do this and maybe he is showing you this character if it is like me for example he doesn't show anything so honestly this is useless for me like unless there's like a brand new stuff and maybe he shows it there but still I don't really see it as like a really usable thing I don't know maybe for players that don't really know what is going on with the game but I mean that, that it's a it's just a meh feature it's it's okay though like I feel like it takes up way too much space on the start screen though but that's just me though that's just aesthetics it doesn't matter so it really doesn't matter now uh, add to the new function and it is said right here character growth you may access training awaken and hidden potential pages from character details you may check information on Dark and awaken at character details so Pretty much this new function here is actually pretty cool, it is where when you go to one of your characters, like you go to your character list, you click on one of your characters, and at the top you have the lock button here, you, so you can lock your character and don't sell it by accident or anything, or use it on training. And right next to it you will see a new button that's called growth, which is this one right here, and if you click on it, you're actually gonna bring you up to this page, which shows you the all the Dokkan Awakening. Uh, phases that, that card has and it shows a training an awaken and a hidden potential option for it so you can actually manage everything from one character in the go like just right there and that is actually really cool I really appreciate that because that way you don't need to go to training train that character then go to awaken awaken that character now of course they did upgrade that in the sense that now when you train it and it's max leveled it actually shows an option to awaken it straight up that is pretty cool too, so this actually just makes things easier, especially for hidden potential, because I do actually prefer to go and uh, click directly on the character and select hidden potential, then looking on the hidden potential list, because sometimes that list is way too small, here it's more comfortable to go, and that's actually a good update, I, I do appreciate that, so it is cool. And the brand new function, which is the tag function. You may create custom tags for characters. Organizing characters will be much easier with tags. Swap left or right to view characters categorized under different tags. Now you can create seven different tag lists. And of course you can do whatever you want with them. Like for example, here's an example one. You can make a stun uh, list and it could be your tag number one. So if you go to tag number one over here at the top, when you change it, it will show all the characters that you have selected for that tag as stun characters so this would be like all stun characters for example right and that's an example you can do seven different uh, lists of that you can even do like support units for example that's a tag you only show the support units and you can see all of them there so it is useful as well you can you can use it so it is pretty cool I appreciate this kind of update as well Maybe for a lot of people it's like, I don't need this. Yeah, you don't really need it, but it is pretty useful for organizing if you have a lot of units like me. Like, I have about 
300 units, so... It's kind of usable, honestly. It's kind of usable to organize everything. And can, uh, tags can be turned on or off through filters at the bottom right corner of the page. And spe uh, certain special characters cannot be included in, the, in tag names. And rename the tag when an error match pops up. So that's still maybe some errors that can happen. And they're like... Um, they're basically saying here things that you can do in case those pop up. And the brand new function as well is the search characters by name. So now you actually have a search button, as you guys can see here, and you can actually type out the character name and search for it. So in case you don't know where it is on your like gigantic character list, you can actually search for it now. So that's okay, that's pretty cool as well. And another one is when you go to the medals, when you check out the medals details, it actually has a new option that says two events. So you can go ahead, click on this, and it will bring you up straight up to the event where you can get those medals. So in case you don't know which, like you have a medal that you're missing and you're like, oh, where do I get these medals? You just go to the page, click on the medal, and go to event. And bam, you, you're there on the event where you, that you need to do to be able to get those medals. So that's pretty useful as well. Pretty helpful for people that, again, don't really know what is going on. That's going to be pretty helpful because sadly... Uh, a lot of people, for example, I do have friends and everything that uh, sometimes they try to play this, but because they don't know English, um, they generally get a lot into the game. So since there is no more options for language besides English or JP, uh, they pretty much kind of fall out of it. And that's pretty cool that they actually uh, do this for people that don't really know English and want to play the global version. So these things will definitely help, of course. Now, they added a scroll bar function as well. When you uh, scroll bar will display it on the right while scrolling through certain pages. So that is true. I've seen it. So a little scroll pops up on your screen and you can actually scroll faster. They adjusted the user interface. I made in Dokkan Awaken for easier viewing. Just a certain user interface. Displayed uh, data, data size while downloading. That's true. They actually showed what you're downloading now. They adjusted the filters. And, uh, yeah, they pretty much just adjusted a few things like friend filters, some bugs, you know. And, uh, yeah, pretty much that's the update we got. So, the most important thing is these features that are actually going to help you organize your characters and actually know what you're doing with growth and everything. So, it is a cool update. It is pretty cool. Of course, there will be more in the future because JP already got a uh, like, few more things like double category filters so that is awesome because we're getting into a new meta talking about double categories right we're gonna actually start talking about what we all want to talk about and it is my man hit from the dokkan fest that we all could vote for we finally are going to get it and this is the very first dual category lead character in the game it's insane and i gotta say though I love Hit, and this card art looks so good. It looks amazing, and he's, he's insanely good, I swear. I, this is such a bad timing to drop him, because he's really, really good. This is basically a Jiren with plus. It, it's kind of crazy. Like, of course, Jiren is still really, really good. And I'm not saying Hit is better than Jiren, of course. They are a bit different, but as far as the leader skills, though... Leader skill? Literally, Jiren with a plus. It's insane, and it's a big plus, okay? So, this is the hit we're gonna summon for. This is the UR version, uh, level 100. And, of course, this is how it's gonna look like. But, the Dark and Awakened one, oh my god, this looks so good. I love this art, insane. And, as you guys can see here on the screen, it is the Universe 6 category, I called it, I swear. I always asked for a Universe 6 category it, for hit, and it finally happened. It actually freaking happened. I don't know if I ever talked about it on the video, but I did always mention it, and I swear. It's, it's amazing. I love that they did this. Universe 6 category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%. Hello? 170, okay? That is insane right there. That's an insane boost for Universe 6 characters. And it has Universe Survival Saga category key plus 3 
HP attack defense plus 150%, which is literally Jiren's category lead skill. Like, I, I swear, uh, it's literally Jiren's leader skill, but with a plus. Now, again, of course, Hit is an extreme unit, so, of course, like, he's, uh, maybe Super Jiren is better for, of course, if you're doing a STR team. This one, though, oh my god, he's literally on the color and type that I really need characters for. I need more extreme tech units, and he's literally there. Literally. So, that's kind of crazy for me, honestly. His super attack looks insanely good. I have no footage of it to show right now, but it looks really good, and it's Cage of Time causes immense damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy. He can stun. That's amazing as well. Now, if we go into his passive, though, this is where things get even more crazy. Attack the enemy's attack minus 20% and defense minus 80% for two turns, okay? This is going to be a monster for Super Battle Road and stuff like that, if you can actually get the, the debuff on, on the enemies, because that's going to help a lot. High chance to stun the attacked enemy for one turn. Attack plus 120% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 80%, and attacks effective against all types when the target enemy is stunned. I swear, if he super attacks a stunned enemy, he's gonna do insane amount of damage. Insane. And he might still stun them yet again. Like, this, oh my god, this is an insane unit. It looks so good, and it's really, really awesome, I swear. Now, the bad thing about this is that they're gonna drop this now on Global, and we are all waiting on, of course, uh, spoiler alert if you want to be spoiler free, but Blue Gogeta and uh, DBS uh, Broly uh, are gonna be a thing. They've been confirmed, at least for JP. Okay, they've been confirmed for Dokkan already, so I still didn't cover it because I want to do a video covering it when I, we have more info about them. But, they've been confirmed, and we're all waiting on that, and now they drop this hit. Which is the one that we voted for, so... It is kind of weird that they do this, because this hit is not gonna... Like, a lot of people are gonna skip this hit, just because they're, we're all waiting and saving our stones for Gogeta and Broly, so that's why it's kind of weird for me that they drop it this way. But it is such a good unit. It is so worth having, I swear. It is really, really good, though. This is... Oh my god. I, I hope his banner is good. Like, if his banner is actually good for me, like, for example, they drop, like, the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock onto it, or maybe the Extreme Tech uh, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, like, if they, there is characters that I'm missing more than just hit, I will definitely maybe play once or twice on that banner. Because I still want to save for Gogeta. So, it is really weird that they do this, though. But we can definitely expect Gogeta and Broly to be double category leads now. Because apparently that's the new meta. That's gonna be the new meta. The double category leads. And... It is crazy. It is pretty crazy because now we probably have a Gogeta that's gonna be fusion and movie hero category leads and a Broly that's gonna be, uh, I don't know, enhanced transformations and movie villain category lead. <laughs> that would be crazy though. That's gonna be insane. So... So yeah, this is gonna... It, Dokkan is getting lit and we don't have enough stones for all of this. <laughs> that's the only problem. Dokkan, give us more stones. We need more. <laughs> more! <laughs> We need more missions, more story, anything works for stones. So yeah, this is the brand new hit, it looks amazing, it's really good, so we're gonna see what happens, but this is what Global is gonna get next, guys. That's all I wanna uh, have to say. This is what's coming next. You decide if you wanna play on this or not. I'll make a video talking about the banner when it comes out, if it's worth or not. If you guys want me to, if you want, let me know down below in the comments. And more than that, we're gonna have, of course, a new Frost. This is the SSR. This is what you're gonna get from summoning, or maybe... Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be free-to-play, though. I don't know if it's gonna be free-to-play. I think this is a summonable uh, Frost. Brand new. So, finally, we have a good Frost. And he gets a Duke on Awaken as well to 120 and Frost full power. And it looks pretty cool, honestly. And Great Lose Attack for one turn causes supreme damage to enemy. And Keep Asleep for six turns from start of the turn. Attack plus 120% and defense plus 60%. With a medium chance to stun the enemy when performing a super attack. Now, 
This one under hits uh, leader skill, it's gonna be pretty usable, honestly. It's gonna be pretty good, so this is definitely good for us to have. It seems decent. Now, Supreme Damage is not that great, but he can stun and he's gonna get some good uh, boost percentage on his stats, so it's still gonna be a good for us, though. And it looks cool, so I will, I will if I ha get it, I will definitely have it and collect it, of course. So yeah, we have the full power frost. We have a pretty cool card here, which is the Boda Magetta, which is awesome. I love that they did this, honestly. It looks really cool. It's a summonable card as well, and uh, it Dark and Awakens into this one. That looks insane, and they look awesome. I freaking love this card, honestly. Cause supreme damage to enemy and raise defense by 30% for 6 turns, and key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 100%. Guard activated against all attacks all attacks when HP is 80% or below. So this is actually a pretty good tank, honestly. It's a decent tank. It has guard activated and uh, key plus 3 and attack defense plus 100%. That's awesome. That's an awesome boost. So this is a pretty cool unit, honestly. If you get it, definitely worth it. And uh, another unit that's under the Universe 6 category leads, it's gonna be really, really good. Now, here... Is what I really like to, to see, because this is how you dock and awaken a character, Dokkan. Honestly, this is how you do it. We ha I have this Chompa for the longest, and there was one time where I was like, man, I wish they would dock and awaken this Chompa and make it usable. Here it is, finally. They dock and awaken it, and they actually make him the second Universe 6 category leader. He's gonna be a uh, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense 120%. Now, it's not as big as 170 from hit, but it's still pretty good. It's usable. You can actually use this as your Universe 6 category leader, if you don't have hit, of course. And it's gonna be amazing, not just because of that, but because a super attack costs supreme damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense, but is passive, though. Universe 6 category allies, key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 40%. That is crazy. And medium chance of attack plus 200%. Now, you're telling me that this character is, as a leader for Universe 6 is a key plus 5, HP 120%, attack and defense plus 160%. That is really good. If you ask me, this is really good for Universe 6. So, if you don't have hit, you're fine if you have a Chompa. Because, I mean, Chompa has been for a while in Dokkan already, so... Most people probably already have it from getting, like, random luck SSRs. And I do have a couple of him, I think. And uh, I think I have one of his paths open. So, this is a pretty good Chompa update, honestly. Really, really good. And the super attack looks really good as well. So, pretty good updates we're getting here, honestly. I like this Chompa. It's really good, so definitely worth a Dark and Awakening. And I believe he Dark and Awakens with the... With Hits a new event. Yes, 35 medals. You guys can't really see it from there, but... 35 medals of the Hit uh, Dokkan event. So, pretty good. We have a brand new Goku Awakening here. Uh, the Kid Goku. You guys can see right above me. He's gonna dock and awaken into this new one with the tournament medals, of course. And it looks pretty cool. I actually really like this art. This art looks really cool. The Kamehameha wave there. And attack defense plus 80% plus an additional attack of 80% and defense plus 40% when facing two or more enemies. It's an okay unit, honestly. It looks pretty cool, so if I ha if I get him, I'm definitely dock and awaken it. Looks really awesome. Another one that seems to be a tournament reward, apparently. Uh, it's the Cell Perfect form, uh, the one where he's cutting around the, the ring to make the ring, you know. And this one is actually really good, because his passive is Extreme Class Allies Key Plus 2 and Attack and Defense plus 30%, Super Class Enemies Defense minus 50%. This is another one I really need to get if I can, because again, if you guys saw my Battlefield video from Global um, this week, Man, I really need extreme tech units. This one could be very usable. It could be very helpful to have just because of that passive. It's a great support unit, if you ask me. So, it seems pretty pretty decent to have. And in the future, you might get a Dock and Awaken, because most of these units reward... If he's a tournament reward unit, 
He's probably gonna get a Dokken Awaken at some point in the future, so that's gonna make it be even better. And we have a brand new Dokken Awaken for this Bew. That's right here. You guys can see on the screen. That's the one you can get from, I think, summoning on the World Tournament? I'm not sure. But it does Dokken Awaken with seven World Tournament medals. And it Dokken Awakens into this new Bew. And I mean, it is okay. Attack defense plus 10% and recovers 5k HP per key sphere obtained. It's pretty meh, honestly, but if you do have it, hey, new Dark and Awaken for it, I guess. And for Christmas, we're getting this new card with Trunks and Mai, uh, Christmas Eve Gifts, and it guarantees Super Attack to level up by one in training. So it's pretty much like the Alurkai, but you can use it on any character, I think. Maybe it has all, the t all colors, I'm not sure. But uh, this is gonna be a brand new card we're gonna get for Christmas. And uh, that's pretty much it. And this is the brand new category, Universe 6. This is all the characters that are on that category. And uh, yeah, overall the category is looking pretty good. I mean, either Champa or Hit, they're amazing Universe 6 leads, okay? Now, of course, Hit provides a bit more percentage to the stats, but Champa provides more key, though. It provides 5 key to everyone, which is really, really good. And... On top of that, if you had characters like, uh, maybe this Kaba, I don't, uh, wait, STR type key plus 3, okay, so it's only super STR type, so never mind, this one is actually not that great of a support, but it is a good unit though, but definitely, if you have stuff like, uh, Kefla, Kefla is definitely gonna be good on this team, along with Champa, and uh, you could have, uh, this, uh, Kaba, because I believe it's crit, uh, gets higher the more yeah per plus seven percent per universe survival star category ally on the team now that is pretty good because most of these characters are gonna have universe survival saga on them as well they're gonna be for under that category as well so honestly uh, you could have Kefla you could have this Kaba you could have of course Kalifla that's she's amazing honestly AGL Kalifla even the free to play one it's really good uh, Kale Berserk is gonna be insane because she attacks twice. She's gonna do a lot of damage. Honestly. It's gonna be pretty good. And I don't know if you you would be able to bring another hit. I don't think so because they have the same name. So yeah, no. You Wait. Universe 6 Strongest Assassin Hit. Assassin's Ultimate Technique. Yeah, honestly, you're, you're not gonna be able to bring the, the two of them. So never mind that. But you do have Kalifla, Kaba... Kefla, um, Kale, and uh, if you have a Frost, the new Frost, if you have it, you could definitely put that on your team. And along with that, you'd need to have, at the end, the bottom Mageta. And we're still missing the Namekians. Where are the Namekians? We still need the Namekians. We still need the Namek dudes from Universe 6. Where are they? We need those. Those are missing. <laughs> This would be really cool if they would drop on, on this new banner as well, but we did get a bottom Mageta though, and we got a new Frost, so that's already pretty good. I think they're probably saving those Namekians for the future, which is good. And, uh, and yeah, you can definitely make a pretty good team out of Universe 6. And even if it's not only Universe 6, if you have Hit as the leader, you can include Universe Survival Saga characters, and that makes everything even more crazy. You can have Ultra Instinct Goku, you can have Jiren. You can have a lot of other characters that are under that category, which, if you guys check right here, Universe Survival, you have a lot to go with. You have a lot of good characters. You can even have Vegeta, you can have the LR Frieza Goku, you can have Topo, you can have so many other options now if you include that category. So, honestly, it's gonna be pretty crazy to run teams with this new hit. It's gonna be really, really cool, because you're gonna have the Hit, Jiren, Ultra Instinct Goku, Android 17, the new Vegeta, probably, and as the last one, you could even, I don't know, you could use maybe, not, well, not Champa, actually, but, man, anything is so good on this team. You could put Golden Freeze on it if you want. That's it. It's really crazy, so, that's what's coming to Global. And that's pretty much all the info I just dropped on you guys now. Let's hope that uh, maybe they do give some time between this hit and Gogeta and Broly. And they give us enough events to farm some stones during Christmas. 
And any other news, I will keep you guys updated as fast as I can, of course, like I did with this one. That this all this stuff just dropped today, so I, I tried as fast as I could. So let me know what are your thoughts down below. Do you think you're gonna play stones for this hit? Um, are you gonna wait and maybe see how the banner looks and see what is worth, what not? I will definitely make a video covering the new banner for hit though, whenever we get the info for that. And uh, whatever I do, I will t let you guys know what I'll do. And uh, I guess you guys, if you guys are free to play like me, you guys can kind of go the same with me, I don't know. If you have a lot of characters, again, if you don't have a lot of characters, anything you play for, it's of course going to be worth. And I mean, even if you think... Ah, oh, should I skip or not? Like, is this a really good character to, to skip? I mean, it, no... There, is, there isn't a single character that's good to skip. Because this hit is definitely not good to skip. This is really good. Like, you should definitely have it. But, if you really prefer Gojin and Broly, then it's up to you to decide if you really want to skip on it or not. So, yeah. Maybe you get lucky and play 5 stones and you get it. Bam. Like, that's it. You just move on. <laughs> so, who knows? But... I hope this video was informative enough for you guys and helped you guys enough and kept you guys updated on the game as well. So let me know what you think about everything down below. If you have enjoyed this video, of course, fire punch that like button down below. And of course, subscribe, join the Beast Army for more Dokkan Battle videos. And I guess I will catch you all on the next one. So until then, everyone, as always, you already know, stay beast. See ya!